Become a paid professional in just three months. How to be a webmaster in just three months. How to learn web development faster. In this video, we are going to really talk about all this stuff. So, hey guys, my name is Rahul Ayre and I'm from Pune. So let's get started. So in this video, what uh, what actually really happened is in the previous video, I really uh, made a video on how I really become a web developer and which courses did I really uh, bought from YouTube or Udemy. You can just check it up here, I button and link is always in the description, even though if you want. So what I really happened is just uh, I actually watched one video of uh, Travis Media of getting out of tutorial hell and there were many also really videos on YouTube uh, stating that how they become a developer or a paid paid professionals in just three months so is it really possible to become a paid developer in just three months or is it really possible that someone would really hire you while you are learning so becoming so let's start with the first term becoming a paid professional is a relative term it's not a subjective number one you can be a front-end you can be a full stack you can be a graphic designer you can be web developer web design front-end ui back-end architecture framework uh, solution architect designing and lots of other stuff each of each of the following stuff which i really mentioned takes a considerable amount of time in order to get master in it number one and it's really easy to learn programming now, what do i really mean by that number one uh, initially when you really start to uh, learn programming you may find it really challenging about what should you learn but what do you not but trust me when you really uh, pass that layer if you really jump a little bit above that stuff now when you really started to learn a year you really don't know what is what should I learn what is the which is the best stack which I should really choose among the all of other technologies out there like PHP, Django, Node, Golang, C Sharp, ASP.NET and other framework structure, right? So when you really level up that thing, now what you really decide is to learn that stack. Suppose if you have really chosen the Merge stack, uh, Mongo Express, React and Node, by the way, it can be different anyone else uh, if you're choosing that one thing. Now, what do you really happen is you just go through that step number one. So each of the thing really takes a bit amount of time, right? So let's take for example to become a fully professional front end, learning HTML, CSS might take considerable hardly amount of time. Let's say uh, it will take around two or three weeks maximum to learn the HTML, CSS and javascript another 15 days right so uh let and these are the really least conservative amount and if you are really hyper focused you can really just go on and try to do it in less amount of time or it it can be more than that similarly learning react will take you another 15 to 1 15 to 20 30 days and let's see for example learning node will take another one month then another 15 to 20 days for uh about framing the thing and all that kind of stuff so you can learn the full stack uh stuff in just three or four months if you are really that hyper paced high focused and really you know uh, like you are in a really marathon mode you can just go on continuously for non-stop regular thing but the problem is here as i said learning to code is easy but making something out of it is really challenging and this is what something even a 10 year experienced developer let's say for example anywhere at google facebook microsoft or netflix even they really find it still challenging even in their day-to-day -day stuff that they really uh, to make uh, come up with a solution to that the problem that they are having number one and the problem with the youtube udemy treehouse freecode camp or edx coursera 
MIT, Stanford, you name it, anything of that. The problem with them is that they are really super polished courses. Now, what do I really mean by super polished is like when you really start to uh, when you really start uh, just to kind of code things along the way, you really you really see the tutorial which are superbly polished. Number one, they don't have any flaws. You don't have really anything up there and you just try to code along them and you just make it happen right and seems a little bit right okay when you are really started to learn you should get right things okay but the problem is you sometimes really lack the ability to make something out of it uh, if that instructor might show where he have gone wrong in, in during the process of making the course then you would really learn significant out of it the fact that they don't show the mistake out there and they really make the polished courses, make the uh, plush, polished, error-free courses uh, makes really us in a following way to follow that course blindly in a much without any much more critical analysis, right? So apart from it, if that instructor would really mention the core mistakes and what the errors you did, you would really learn a bunch of things out there, number one. So that is one essential thing which I really found out, uh, yeah, out of it. Uh, the next thing is like, let's talk about the job, okay? The interviewer doesn't give any F, any S, any BS about what you have learned or from where you have learned from. The interviewer or the company which anyone does recruits or hire does care about what can you really create out of it? What value can you really deliver? Now, what do I really mean by that? Suppose you have really started out to really learn things and eventually you try to make some of the YouTube Udemy projects and you just try to just put it in the resume and just show it up. But what would really happen if that interviewer just give you another code section and you you won't it wouldn't happen to really make it up when he really gives us a sample of code and tell us that hey just go on and solve this and what would have happened if you really uh, if you are really unable to do it and that is really an embarrassing thing for any of the aspiring developer or any aspiring developer for a job uh, interview so you should really take care of it that while learning while going to the course so you should really take care that you should really use that courses in a really appropriate way. I'm not saying that YouTube, uh, of all the YouTube videos and YouTube Udemy courses are really totally uh, useless. They are really useful, especially if you are really uh, learning uh, yourself or becoming a self-taught programmer, which everyone are, despite of being, whether you go to college, whether you are learning in the uh, boot camp, or whether you are learning on your own, everyone is really a self-taught programmer. So, you should really consider any courses or any tutorial as a reference, not a lifeline. And and let's suppose, uh, and the really cha let's suppose you really happen to take up a course. Uh, let's say on full stack Mern course, right? The course itself is covered in a limited spectrum of it. It really gives you only a limited scope of it. After covering that, you should really cover up your own course. I mean, you should really cover up, you come up your own project. You should really try to really uh, jigsaw it into really another way. So, you can, so that you can really implement your own knowledge, own thought process in, in it. Now, why essentially that is crucial to you? Why making a project is so important for you, number one? Suppose if you have really gone through the whole project out there, right? Uh, of learning YouTube uh, Udemy courses. Now what you have, now you have know how the React works, how that the component function works, how does the uh, Redux or uh, Context API works, how does the routing function works in the Java or uh, in Express, how does the data database works in MongoDB. So when you really know all these things and you really come up with an idea and you really put up in a such a way that you really come up with your own complex project 
Now what will happen is when you really show that project to an interviewer, he will really get impressed. Not because you have made a project, but it will really prove your ability, your strength that that you can really demonstrate that yes, I can really make this. This is my strength. This is my core value that uh, I have really made this thing. And and as as I really said that in earlier, the interviewer does only care about what can you make or what can you deliver out of it. So and this is the really one way that. Uh, that you can really demonstrate them. So the coming back to the question that can you really become a paid developer in just three months? Mm, the it is subjective. What do you really mean by paid developer? At the end of the day, it depends upon whether you want to become a front end, whether you want to become a back end, or whether you want to become full stack. It really individually takes a much longer time, and you should really first try to learn the concepts first take it as source of reference not as a lifeline and don't really jump to one tutorial from other tutorial once you really understand it come up with your own idea or any project that you really want to make it happen and you really make it up and then you can really start up your own and applying for your own job out there then it will really make your portfolio or resume more stand out so I hope you like this video. So this was it guys. I really wanted to say about the YouTube and Udemy courses or any courses out there. So if you really like this video and if you really want to get out of the tutorial hell, uh, I'm also really making a series on face mash of making the face mash. Yes, that face mash that Mark Zuckerberg made in the Howard days. So you can really check up right here. And especially uh, if you really want to, uh, so if you really want to give any suggestion uh, advice or any sort of it just comment down below I will be more happy to you and especially follow to that uh, face mash series so till then stay connected and have a nice day